It's a cruel, cruel summer. Now you're gone, leaving me here on my own. It's a cruel, cruel summer. Now you're gone. Hey, what? What are you doing? I'm singing. Bananarama? Yeah, I'm an 80s child. <laughs> you're not. Well, you're not either. No, I was a teenager in the 70s, but I was a young man in the 80s and I enjoyed them. Yeah, I bet you did. They seemed like good times. I mean, the 70s and 80s? Oh, man. 60s, 50s? Well, you know, you're you're back from what? 20s? <laughs> I didn't live in the 20s. Oh, okay. Anyway, I like the music. I love the 80s music. That's pretty cool stuff, huh? Tears for Fears, Duran Duran, NXS, Michael Jackson, all that stuff. 70s Bee Gees, uh, Journey, REO. Well, it was 70s and 80s, yeah, yeah. Eagles, yeah. All right, let's get on with the show. Anyway, Cap Guy's going to go over what he sold. Some of it he's going to show you on the screen because he already shipped it. And it's covering three days of sales. And then he's going to show you what the live stuff because he ain't shipped it yet. He's getting ready to do that after the show. So, y'all, thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Sitting at 298 again. <laughs> Never mind, he ain't going to go there. Let's get out with a show. Cool. Cool summer. Now you're gone. All right, JT. <laughs> uh, this guy. This guy. Yeah, that is, that's a pretty good song. I like that song. But it ain't been hot here. We've been in the 80s. And I'll take the 80s in August anytime. So, anyway, I hope y'all are having a great Sunday. And uh, I slept in a little bit this morning. I, I was tired. And I've been tired. And somebody even said I look tired. By the way, uh, one of my viewers said that uh, when he Googles my name, the cap guy, it comes up to the weather guy. And when I looked at it, I Googled it myself. And all my videos pop up. But the weather one, the, under the weather guy, I guess I should say, when, when I was under the weather back in, I think, February or March, I made a video. And, and it's got a lot of views. And I couldn't figure out why. But that's the one that pops up first. And then below it is the link to all the others, or the, the sh it shows them. So I don't know if that's hurting me with viewers and subscribers. Who knows? But they're all there. If you if you Google it, it, it isn't the only one that came up when I did it on my phone. Now, I don't know anywhere else. Um, but uh, anyway, if anybody knows how to fix it where all of them show up at once and not just that one, let me know in the comments below. I, I can't figure it out. I am not the most tech-savvy guy. I'd like to have the pop-ups up here on the screen, too, and I don't know how to do that either. Or emojis and stuff like Drifter and Man Mountain and others do. Um, so, anyway, we're going to get into what I sold. The first item, and this was on the uh, 31st. Um, the first one down here is the cycling jersey, and I'll just click on it. Oh, you know what? Bobby just messed up. We're going to go to the ones that I've already shipped, not the ones I've got to ship. This first one is a uh, Wario Land for Game Boy, Nintendo, 98. Uh, Wario Land 2. Uh, my brother Terry brought these up from Texas. He paid uh, $5 for this game. We sold it for $20, so we'll profit uh, twelve seventy two off that game. So he'll get his 5 back plus his uh, half his profit, which would be 6 something. And uh, he's got some games left. And then uh, these are my Marith Francois Gervais men's jean shorts. I hope I said that right. 32s. Um, I bought these, I think, at the bins. Paid about $1.80 for them. I got some comments from the gentleman that said that my shipping was too high. That he could get jean shorts shipped for $3. And I sent him a message back and said, I beg to differ. I've been shipping jeans a lot. And even though these are shorts, they're still going to go over a pound. And uh, I said, so the best I can do is $8 on shipping um, because I do everything at a two-pound rate on, on heavy clothing. And uh, he did save a couple of dollars, but when I went to put them in the uh, flat rate envelope, I did weigh them, and they did go over a pound, so they would have been priority, and I was correct. So 
Uh, if he's getting them for $3, they gave him a flat rate, $3. They weren't, uh, uh, they weren't first class $3 under a pound. Um, I made, uh, I paid a dollar 80, sold them for 1692. I made 1267 off those jeans. And the last one that I'll show you on the screen is the inmate convict shoe size 11. I paid, uh, 149 for these and I sold them for 1444 on my sale that's going on plus shipping. They went in a priority flat rate envelope and I made 1082 profit. Now on the things that I have not shipped, we're going to show you those. And let me get back to my eBay, and I will start showing you. I've got, uh, I think, 24 items to show you real quick. And I go through them a lot quicker when I'm showing them to you, or at least I think I do. I think I can. I think I can. And there is some train stuff in here. All right. And I'll go backwards from this morning. Um, just because it's the way the screen's set up and I don't want to get out of order and miss what anything. So the first thing this morning that I've sold, the only thing I've sold this morning is part of that Ninja Turtle lot. This is Shredder 2002. He's a figure from the uh, Ninja Turtle uh, lot that I paid for and I've sold a few of those already. Um, I comped everything at a dollar because that's about what I had in them and uh, sold this for $14.95 with free shipping. So... Won't be nothing crazy. The next one, and of course it would be these. I bought four or five pair of these Crocs for $2 a pair. They are brand new. They comped at about $20, $22. Um, yeah, I have four more. Uh, these are two and three in size. They're blue, they're brand new in the package. She originally wanted, I got these in Duncan at the first yard sale. Um, I sold these for twenty fifty nine plus shipping, so I'll make some good money on those. Next is one of only a few that I have of left, and I don't think I'm getting any more. Uh, I paid three twenty five for these. I sold it for twenty seven eighty nine plus nine eighty five flat rate shipping, and I have three left, and I'll be out of the uh, Forever Sharp Professional Knife Sets. That'll be a sad thing because I make about 20 bucks each off those. The next is a going to New York. It's a UPS women's ball cap. Pink for cancer awareness. And I've had this for a while too. I got it at the bins. Um, paid 18 cents. Sold it for $12.75 plus shipping on top. This I picked up last weekend at a yard sale here where I live. Two of them. And this was the nicer of the two, I think. This is a Yankees hoodie. Got the patch on it there. I paid a dollar for this. It is a medium. And I sold this for $34.99 plus shipping on top. And that'll probably go in a flat rate envelope. So that's a good one. When I saw them and I knew they were asking a dollar, I knew I was grabbing them. And not always do hoodies go that high. But that one's kind of special and baseball's being played. Although I watched some sports yesterday and... It's just odd seeing no people in the stands. It's kind of, anyway. Anyway, sad times we live in right now. Um, the next one, another, at that same, where I found the Yankees, Gulf Pride can. I started this at $35. I had a bid the first day I listed it. It's a bigger one. It's a five-quart can. And uh, there's something in it, too. I don't know what it is. Somebody's put something in there. I can't see what it is, but um, then they canceled the bid, and then they got more bids, and it had, I think, 10 watchers on it. But yesterday, it went up a little bit in the morning, and then it stopped, and I thought, well, they'll get a bunch of bids right before it ends. Well, it didn't. Um, I sold that for, I paid a dollar for it at that yard sale where I got the Yankees uh, uh, hoodie, where I, what I just mentioned. Sold this for forty-seven fifty-one plus shipping. So that one's a good profit. That's a good one. That's almost a home run in my mind. The next one, I don't know about this one yet. We're going to figure this one out, and I'm going to contact the buyer. It is an international sale. It is a mouse on cheese. I paid a quarter for it. Sold it for $8.37 plus shipping. But when I went to pull it out of the bin, it had come apart right here. So I'll contact the buyer, see what they want to do. Um, if they still want it, I'll send it to them. If not, I won't. I'll refund their money. 
this one is a Polo Ralph Lauren. And I thought this would have more value. It is France. And it's a striped Polo size XL. Um, I'm trying to remember what I paid for this. It, at the most, it would have been $333. Um, that's likely what it was. Sold it for $9 plus shipping, so no big deal there. The next one is... And where did I put him? There he is. I have about three different sizes in the same color, so I had to be careful when I was picking this. Thomas the Train. Um, some of these, the, the die cast ones, I would think are more valuable, but it's the motorized ones like this, which I also sold yesterday, that have the little switch on them, and the wheels turn when you when you do this. Let's see if I can make this one happen. Yeah, well, it's kind of hard in the bag, but as you can see, they're going, okay. Anyway, this one comes. I sold this one for $4. Um, I'm trying to remember what I had comped in these. It's about 50 something cents a piece. So I won't make much on them, plus shipping on top. Um, that's the number one. And this one, I'm gonna go ahead and find it since I'm showing it to you. This is Thomas, uh, the train Spencer is the, the engine, because they all have names, and a coal car. And I peg a thirteen seventies what I sold it for plus shipping, and some of them just don't have a lot of value, and some of them are very valuable. Um, I've sold some pretty good ones, but not a ton of them yet. I've still got quite a few. I probably won't pick those up as much anymore, just uh, because uh, this was a uh, twenty dollar buy, and. Their Oakley crankcase sunglasses. And again, like I said yesterday, pick up the Oakleys. These are root beer. Uh, paid 20 for them. I sold them for 69 plus shipping on top. So, and I dropped the bag that they go in. So, definitely pick up Oakleys. I mean, you're going to make 30, 40 or more off those profit if you get them for under 20 bucks. So, uh, the next one is Ralph Lauren, and it's in a bag, so I can't show you the whole thing, but it's a Ralph Lauren Beach Patrol uh, t-shirt, or Beach Club t-shirt. It's yellow, and this is a XL, and again, I paid uh, $3.33 for this. I sold it for $18 plus shipping on top, so that's a good one. The next are Justin Boots. I paid $2.50 at a yard sale for these back on June, July 10th. Um, they're size nine and a half and they're in very good shape. I cleaned them up. I took, I take a toothbrush around the uh, soles and clean them up. And uh, those are pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. And um, these are gypsies, Justin gypsies. So anyway, I sold those for $28.50. I paid $2.50 for them and also shipping on top. So. That's a good sale. And I'm scrolling down behind the, the phone here. Um, I did make a mistake. Uh, Karen took a bunch of t-shirts home that I had a while back that that uh, I just had, had listed at one time, wasn't selling them. She took them and used her listings and started listing and we're doing the same thing that Terry and I are doing, my brother, on splitting profits and so she has sold, uh, she took 150 t-shirts and she sold a bunch of them. Matter of fact, for the month of July, my half of it was uh, was 100 bucks. So I got my 100, 100 bucks out of them when I would have probably redonated them. And one of them was a jersey, a Darren Sproles Saints jersey, youth medium. Well, I sold a Darren Sproles youth medium jersey yesterday and it turns out it was the same one. So she sold hers for a little bit more than I did. So I sent the person a message, ask them, if they wanted a refund, but I do have a Reggie Bush Saints jersey that I'm offering them for free that's not listed if they want it in place of it. If not, then they'll get their money back. But that was a mistake on me for not paying attention. And uh, sometimes you make mistakes when you're doing this, because especially when you have the kind of listings I have. Um, I mentioned this yesterday in my video. I picked this up as part of that $60 lot um, with the... Uh, the uh, Sega system. There were two GameCube games, and so everything was comped. Um, what did I comp everything at? It was about uh, 
56 cents, I think, a piece, the games, because I'm comping the system at about $25 of that, $50. Um, so, actually, a do yeah, $1.56 is what I comped this at. Picked it up uh, Friday, and um, I sold this for $17.59 plus shipping, so that'll be a good profit. The next was on the other part of that, and this was thrown in free, the Micro Machines Mustang, number nine. And there are some numbers that are more valuable, seven and some of the others that were in that same time frame. But, hey, I paid nothing for this, and I sold it for $29.95 plus shipping on top. This is from 1995, so that was, a good, that was definitely a good one. The next is Eskimo Joe's, and that's a local... Eat them up up in Stillwater. It's a juke joint, mainly around Oklahoma State Cowboys. Um, there is some controversy going on right now because of the Eskimo name. They're wanting them to remove it. And uh, I'm not going to get into politics, but it's uh, been around a long time. I've never actually eaten there. The times that I've gone to games up there where Texas played Oklahoma State, the place was packed and couldn't get in. So anyway, but those are all over the thrift stores down here. You'll see them everywhere. And I only look for the quality ones. Um, I, uh, I picked that up for like a quarter and I sold it for $12 with free shipping. The other one is a corn Oklahoma fine. And I did not know the value. I grabbed it because he talked and you know me and my talking stuff. If it talks, I want it. I paid a dollar for this in corn Oklahoma. This is boss baby. And there are a couple of different versions of this. There is another one that's worth more than this. But I sold this dollar pickup. Let's just say I'm the boss. I am the boss. And JT may not agree, but I sold this for $67 with free shipping. So that won't cost a lot to ship, maybe eight, nine, ten dollars $10. But I'll still make some really good money off that. So needless to say, if you see the boss baby out there, you need to grab him. It's a cruel, cruel summer. Oh, I don't think Soulfly sings that. Soulfly, 101 at Goodwill. Back on uh, July 3rd. Sold this for $19.99. It's a vinyl. Obviously, it, I think it's a two vinyl set. Yeah. And uh, don't know the music at all. But um, I'll take $19.99 off a dollar and a penny plus shipping on top any day of the week. Uh, the next one. <clears throat> Paid a quarter for a bunch of these. They're still selling. This one is Union uh, University. Paid a quarter for it. Sold it for twelve seventy five with free shipping. The next one is a vintage <clears throat> Logo Seven Texas Ranger Snapback Cap. You like that? Um, got this at the bins. Eighteen cents. Sold it for ten dollars. Uh, plus shipping, so not bad, not bad. The next is another hat, and I don't know if this is fashion or a women's church hat, but when I see this kind of stuff, I usually grab it. Got it at the bins. It's a Miss Bernier, Bernier hat. It's kind of a, almost like a straw material. Um, Eighteen cents in, sold it for twenty-six plus shipping. Yes, you heard that right. The next is PS3, GoldenEye. Paid uh, five, what was it, 50 cents? Yeah, 50 cents for this at um, a yard sale. And I sold it for, you know what, I'm mistaken. I paid $5 for this. I must have comped it while I was there. 1869 sold, so that may be why, because I saw the comps on it. So that one's a good one. And then Thomas the Train, you just saw the gray one. And the last thing is this cycling jersey. And these don't sell real high. They have to be really special to get a lot of money out of them. And I had picked them up. I got this at the bins, probably paid at the most 80 cents for it. I sold it for $10 plus shipping. So, you know, cycling jerseys, it's all about what's on them. And that's just kind of the key with that. But tomorrow I will give you the numbers on profits. You heard the kind of the profits on each one. Or not profits, but what I sold them for separated from the cost of goods. So they'll be good ones. Um, I appreciate everybody as always. 
Um, I'm trying to keep JT in line. I know uh, Journey made a comment about I got to rein him in, but I don't know how you're going to do that. I just don't know. I got too much other stuff going on to tackle that big chore. That's a that's a big one. That'll stress me out all day. And by the way, I want to mention something real quick. I sold an Anova uh, pressure cooker thing, new open box had gotten somewhere, and I sold it for good money because that's what it comped, and I gave them a good deal. Um, I got a message from a lady yesterday that bought it over two months ago, and she's saying she's been out of town. Her husband received it, but she's been out of town, and now she's trying to use it, and it won't come on, and she's wanting me to refund it, and... Normally, I jump right back on stuff like that and, and take care of it. But in this case, the zero feedback over two months after the fact, and, and I read up on it. I know automatic returns up to 30 days, and during COVID, it's even gone 45. I don't know. She hasn't filed a case yet, so I'm going to wait for her to file the case and kind of go from there. I've got mixed feelings about it. Um, in some ways, I think, okay, just do it. And then in some cases, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. You know, there's so many things going on with people that are trying to get over on sellers with in the way eBay treats sellers. Sometimes uh, I question, uh, you know, the the fact that we're making the money for eBay and um, and the way we get treated as sellers. Sometimes when you're right, when you're wrong, you know, or there's a, a even a question there, then I understand. But anyway, you might comment below what you think if you're, especially if you're a reseller. I I just I have a hard time not knowing that if this lady's used it and it's just quit working or if she hasn't programmed it because it's Bluetooth, if she hasn't done it right. Um, I don't know. I'm just I'm conflicted, but I'm going to wait for her to file a case on it before I do anything. I know she only has uh, 30 days to file and then I have an option, but I understand PayPal has up to 180 days and if she paid through PayPal, which likely she did, she could end up going there, and I don't know. Again, she has zero feedback. I don't know the, the whole parameters of everything, but I'm just questioning this thing because it was new open box, and and uh, I didn't I didn't test it because I don't, you know, new open box, I'm not going to test that kind of stuff. But anyway, yeah, it sells for like $160, and I sold it for 77 So it wasn't like I was trying to, you know, sell it for full price, Um but anyway, I'll get off that. Y'all have a great Sunday. I will talk to you tomorrow as I always do. Cap guy out.